ओम शांति फिफ्टींथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन टूडे इज फ्राइडे द ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम साकार मुरली मे यू बी अ हीरो एक्टर विथ ऑल राइट्स एंड ओवरकम ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स एज दो यू आर प्लेइंग गेम्स मे यू बी अ हीरो एक्टर विथ ऑल राइट्स and overcome all problems as though you are playing games no matter what the situation or the problems are do not be controlled by the problems but have all rights and overcome the problems in such a way as when you play games externally you may have a part of crying but you should feel inside all of it to be a game which is called the drama and that we are hero actors in this drama hero actors means those who play accurate parts therefore consider any brick problem to be a game and make it light do not have any burdens so by by saying may you be a hero actor with all the rights and overcome all problems as though you are playing games so whatever the situations are do not get controlled by problems and overcome those problems as if you are playing games externally even if there is a part of crying but by saying inside you should feel as if it is a game and this game is called drama and in this drama we are hero actors and hero actors means those who play their part accurately therefore whatever the problems are consider them to be a game and this attitude will make you light and then by by saying to not have any burdens so why do we play games in the world why sports are so important the first and the foremost thing is it provides you wholesale entertainment so so games are for entertainment why do we play games they entertain you you enjoy them so games are for enjoyment if somebody is depressed and he goes and watches some play some game it elevates him it changes the person's mood so it's a great source of enjoy- enjoyment then it's also for fitness i am uh, rather than playing game let's focus on seeing games what happens when we see games hmm it diverts the mind okay what else for keeping oneself busy you get busy in watching games <laughs> okay so you get busy what else when we see game what happens it's an inspiration also so games are known as learning machines you know one of the names games have been given is games are learning machines so when we watch games when we see games we learn many things so they are in fact learning machines then what happens when we see games ah so okay so it's a stress reliever games are 
stress relievers the diffuse detention <laughs> let us be impartial spectator where we do not belong to any team we are just watching it for the sake of watching so it definitely is a stress reliever then what else time pass so it's <laughs> whiling away the time you watch games what else what what you get and we are not talking of playing games on the phone we are talking of watching games which are being played out in play, playground we are talking about that we are spectators sitting in the audience and watching the games so what happens when we watch games yeah so that's a very good thing that we learn we learn many many things like we learn cooperative skills how the players cooperate amongst themselves so cooperative skills we learn another thing is dealing with chaos how to deal with chaos we learn then problem solving things we learn and then there is something in which is known as to go meta to go meta to go meta means what to go meta means you jump to a higher platform of thinking you understand bigger picture you are here with your narrowed mind but when you watch games you enter you understand to think uh in a different manner with different perspective so that is known as to go meta and this is a very specific term used in sports psychology to go meta so one more thing observation skills when you watch games what happens your observation skill improves observation skills so you when you see many things you learn just by observing so these are all the uh, we can say benefits of watching games now baba is saying something else but yeah hope of winning so it sustains the hope yes we will win we will win leadership qualities even that induces dynamic leadership qualities you learn how the team is working how the team is cooperating you learn the attitude of sportsmanship it's not about winning or losing it's not about victory and defeat the real sportsman is a person who accepts who is not enchanted by victory nor nor frustrated by defeat if the victory enchants you probably defeat will frustrate you so real sportsman is unaffected by victory or defeat they play for the sake of playing they play for the sake of sport they play for the very sake of enjoyment entertainment because most of the time sports is their passion so it's about playing we are talking right now about watching okay so baba is saying no matter what the situations or problems are do not be controlled by problems but have all rights and overcome the problem in such a way as if when you are playing games externally you may be a part of you have a part of crying but inside you know that everything which is going on on this world drama this is a play and it's a very beautiful play and i am watching this play as a detached observer as a mute spectator i am in the audience i am the audience as if and what what what, what i do when i observe this play this eternal drama this unlimited drama it provides wholesale entertainment this is a very beautiful movie which is made and when i watch this movie as a detached observer it provides me entertainment i see so many sanskars 
I see so many souls together. I see so many souls with different past histories and some of them are having so much black history. Past traumatic experiences. And still souls are working, persisting, making efforts. So I see this entire drama as a detached observer and I don't interfere into it. Though I am the actor but yet I am an audience also. So I see everything as a detached observer, as a mute spectator without interfering. So I enjoy this drama. Whatever that is happening in this drama, it's for enjoyment. I enjoy it. Rather than getting colored, rather than getting involved into different scenes of this drama, I see my own life as a series of different scenes, sequence of different scenes. That scene came, then that scene came, then that scene, then after that so many scenes came. That is my childhood, that's my adulthood, that's where I am now. And these were all the events that happened. It's sort of a story. It's a book I'm reading, one page after the other. So it's for enjoyment. Also they say life is a riddle, life is a puzzle, life is a book. So many analogies of life they give. So I enjoy every scene of this drama. I love every scene of this drama. Why? Because God loves. He has said, Baba enjoys and loves every scene of this drama. So I also enjoy and love every scene of this drama. I do not have complaint about past scenes. They were bad, but I accept them equally as I accept good scenes. Then, it's a learning machine. Games are learning machine. When I look this game, I look at this game as a detached observer, I learn many things. This drama has taught me so many things. Drama is our teacher. Drama is a best teacher. It has taught me so many things. It has taught me life skills. It has taught me, it's a university of hard knocks. Unless and until you get a degree from this university, you are not qualified for higher challenges. So this drama, this life is a university of hard knocks. You should be a champion in dealing with disasters, in dealing with difficulties, problems, challenges. So, this is a learning machine. So when anything is happening in my life, I learn from each and every scene. Anything that has happened till now, let me take a leaf from it. Let me learn and let me turn a new leaf of life. Let me begin everything anew. So I learn. And then, what do we do? What we said? It's a time pass. It's a good means of whiling away the time. Okay. That will come under this only. Then, what else? It's a stress reliever. But when I get acutely, intensely involved with it, I myself get stressed. And that's why Baba said, look at this as a detached observer. That's one of the greatest sadhana or greatest spiritual endeavor. Everyone must see, do at Amrit Vela or evening or before sleep. Seeing everything as if the different acts of the play, the different acts of the drama. So, I will not get affected. Rather it will relieve all the stresses, diffuse all the tensions. So this is a stress reliever, learning machine, enjoyment, what else? Good method of whiling away the time and then to go meta. To get go meta means to reach a platform where you see things in broader perspective. 
you get a bigger picture to see and for example for example this is the nakki lake here okay when you are standing somewhere here you can see few things but as you climb mountains around suppose you are here you get to say a bigger picture you are you climb further you get to say even a bigger picture you climb up here so you get a bigger panorama panoramic view so the more you climb up the better you see everything you can see who is standing here what are the trees everything so to go meta means it, if you want to look at this drama climb up stay up and from there see everything so that you can see everything which is happening if you sit here on the ground stand on the ground you may not be able to see everything which is happening but you have to climb up the more you climb you have to seek some mountain and climb and from there you see you can see entire lake you can see people who are walking just imagine you are standing here and two persons are quarreling it doesn't affect you it's an abuse amusement two persons are playing it doesn't affect you you are up above whatever that is happening here some are doing boat riding it doesn't affect you you are here it appears a very small thing probably if you are here you may have the desire i should also do boat riding and all those but here at a higher platform you don't have such desires you just see things happening around like that so staying up all the time and seeing different vistas of life different pictures of life that is a stress reliever that is to go meta that is to be uh, to know uh, to enter into the different perspective then we said problem solving when you sit here and try to solve problems it's difficult but when you climb up you can see the same things and you can solve it that's why they say uh, what is known as psychological distancing person a is there and b is there a is constantly in conflict with b they might be husband and wife and whatever they do that further results in further disturbance so best is sometimes physical space psychological distancing these are the terms get separated for some time so when you see things as a drama from a distance there is a psychological distance that happens and then you can know you can do better problem solving you can know how to deal with chaos disturbance disorders of life for example when you come to madhuban automatically you enter a new world and many people have told in their experiences that when they come to madhuban they get the solutions to the problems they were facing there in their country in their workplaces why because psychological distance physical distance physical spacing psychological distancing everything has happened and that's why when the mind is here only two persons are trying to bring harmony and relationship they are not able to do they keep on whatever new meeting every new meeting is creating new problem and the meeting is for the sake of harmony but it is leading to further conflicts so the best sometime is go away distance for some time and then come back then observational skills observation skills when you watch a game you know everything whether it is a football or whether it is any game for that matter i am watching that game so i can keep a track of everything my observation skills are improving so when i see this drama as a game which is happening i can 
see minutest things which are happening. I will not miss many things. Otherwise, when I get involved, I get missed. That's why in the drama they have a director. Actors are busy in acting, but it's the director who directs them. He tells them, "Oh no, this scene should not be done like that. Do it in a different manner. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it till he is satisfied, because he is the one who knows." For example, somebody has to hang that picture there. The person who is hanging, he might hang it little tilted, but the person who is standing at a distance will tell him, "No, go little up on the right side, or go little down on the left side." So when you are at a distance, you can see things as they are. So in the similar manner here also, distance. So seeing induces observation skills. So when you see this different things which are happening in my own life, as an observer as an audience as a spectator i can see those things which otherwise i would not see so that's why today's blessing is focusing entirely on considering everything as play as game no matter what situations are what problems are don't get controlled by those problems rather have all the rights and overcome the problem in such a way as when you play games games externally whatever you are doing even if it's a part of crying but you should not feel inside all of it to be a game which is called the drama and that we are hero actors and now another thing is who are we of this drama we are heroes and heroines of this drama the entire focus is upon us everybody is looking at me i am on the stage all the time there are so many thousands of viewers are viewing me seeing me my every action is creating an impact a cricket match is going on he has to be so much careful the cricketer because he knows that thousands of people are watching me across the world he cannot be careless as at a single moment or even the film actors they have to be so much careful about their dialogues they just can't say anything their pronunciations have to be correct the delivery dialogue delivery has to be accurate so in the similar manner we are the hero actors hence hero actor means those who play accurate parts whatever part i have been given whatever part whatever seva whatever job i am doing whatever profession i belong to i have to play my part accurately this is a very beautiful thought i have to play my part accurately so when i come to madhuban my part is to do tapasya what i am doing when i come to madhuban with what purpose with what goal with what aim i have come here am i doing the same thing i am supposed to do or i am just whiling away my time in all the irrelevant things for which i have not come here so what is am i playing my part accurately that's one question everyone wants to ask therefore consider any any big big problem to be game and make it light do not have any burden so whatever problems are there don't think of them as problem only first of all think of them as game as play as toys baba says this is a game of mickey mouse this is a cartoon show which is going on this is a puppet shows and you are the puppeteer this is a cartoon show this is a play which is going on enjoy it have you seen cartoon shows how the children enjoy if a child is watching tv and you come in between how restless he is he doesn't want to miss a single scene he will make you move on one side he will push you on this side because he doesn't want to miss a single scene of that cartoon show so 
this is a cartoon show which is going on this is a laughter channel you know this is a comedy show which is going on so enjoy it rather than getting depressed dip, rather than resorting to crying business it's for enjoyment enjoy it so this is what baba wants om shanti